We talking about sports here. What's up guys, it is Ron from We Talking About Sports. And this is our very first We Talking About Sports on location. I'm in the Mission Palmview area. And as you can see, we got Warrior Wrestling Academy. We're at their gym located here in the Mission Palmview area. And I have the head coach, Mr. Ramon. It's a pleasure. I, this is actually the very first time that I meet him. So this is very brand new to us. We're gonna have a lot of fun and we're gonna let you guys know a lot about Warrior Wrestling Academy. And first off, bro, just what is Warrior Wrestling Academy? You know, what do you guys represent? What is it that you want people to know about, about your awesome gym that you have here, man? Well, what we want people to know more than anything, Ron, is uh, that we're Warrior we're Wrestling Academy. We're an academy, okay. right? Um, there is club wrestling, right, around the valley. It's been around for a long time. Um, there's club wrestling up north. When I was uh, growing up, uh, I attended uh, San Antonio Scorpions Wrestling Club. Um, but there really isn't an academy that's open year round, five days a week for all levels of wrestling, right? That means okay. um, intermediate all the way to advanced fighters, right? People that are getting ready for MMA fights. Um, we're looking right now into, into maybe starting some cardio classes and uh, uh, just getting fit classes for, for people that just want to get in shape in general. Right? All right. And, and who, like, who is Warrior Wrestling Academy? Deep down, man, wait, you're the head coach here. What does the gym represent, you know, to, to, to potential customers and even the kids that you have in here? You know, who are, who is Warrior Wrestling, man? Man, uh, that's a good question. Uh, who we are, man, we're, we're just enthusiastic about wrestling and we want to grow wrestling in the Valley just in general, right? Um, we did a lot of traveling around uh, when I was younger. So we were exposed to the wrestling up north. Now, we want to try to see if we can duplicate that same thing here. Um, again, the people who have the resources to go out and get wrestling are usually the people that outperform other, other athletes around here. So um, what we want is to bring the resources here so that the uh, development can happen here so that the Valley in general can just grow in wrestling, right? I like that, man. So this is, this is we are in the Mission Palmview area, but you have kids and students and people that come in from, I think I heard Valley View, uh, Ed Couch, Posse, I mean, yeah, so this, is, this isn't just for Mission, this is a Valley-wide thing, Exactly, right? yeah, this is something that we're doing for the entire Valley, right? Um, we don't wanna be the biggest, just the biggest uh, uh, club in the Valley. What we want is to elevate wrestling everywhere, right? What does that mean? That means more tournaments, that means more exposure, that means helping kids. I have, an, in our academy, we have kids that compete against each other at a high school level, wow. right? So um, we have them working together. Why? Because we have a, our eyes on making an impact at the state level. Wow. Not to be the, the biggest guys in the block, right? Uh, that's, not, that's not our goal. Um, and, and that's basically what we're looking into. We have people coming from Laredo, from Harlingen. Wow. Yeah, um, as far as that, right? Um, from far area. You name it, you know, we got it in here. And, and we're, we were so happy when we get visitors from out of town. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So kids that have high school programs and they you know they go to school they go to class and they have wrestling they can still come here after school of course and, of course and on, and, and on the weekends yes on the weekends we have we were available on saturdays um, after school primarily our all our kids they wrestle in high school so they come right after you know they okay. come right after they get to work in here um it's not a lot of it's not very i don't want to say it's a lot of uh like cardio heavy it's not a lot of work like that especially because Running, weightlifting, strength training, that's stuff they should be getting at school, right? Correct. Um, with, with that age group, we work more than anything is technique, right? Wow, okay. Um, with, the, with the kids, the, the young kids, we work development, just concepts, you know, games more than anything, just stuff in general to get them ready for wrestling. All right, man. You are the head coach, right? You, yes, are, the, you are the top dog in the gym. All <laughs> I wouldn't right? say that, but okay. All right, so how did you get into wrestling? Like, where did you start off to get here? You know, where you are right now? Like most things, man, I started off with my dad, right? Okay. Uh, most people learn how to fish, most people learn how to hunt, right? They're dead, that's who introduced them. My grandpa wrestled uh, in wow. Mexico, my dad wrestled in California. So when I was born, naturally, he got me involved mm -hmm. in wrestling. Um, growing up, I really didn't have summer vacations or spring breaks, I had wrestling outings, right? So he would send me off, save up his money, and send me off to camps because he thought it was really, really valuable. I, I, I treasure the times I had up there, bro. You know, I have tons of memories. And, and that's why, again, I encourage bringing wrestling here because we, we need it here. You know, um, I hated going up north to go learn and coming back and dry, right? No wrestling, so. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's. All right, man, yeah. so, so, it was, it, so it wasn't even like you went to high school, you wrestled and then you're like, I want to open up. Uh, Jim, it was like, this has no, been bred no. in you yes, since you were yes. a kid. This uh, is a family tradition, your dad, your grandpa. So exactly. you, were, you, were, you were born into yeah, this, and, right? And, and aside from just wrestling, Ron, what I want, want you to understand is uh, the development side of it, right? Okay. Um, even when I was wrestling, we developed the championship team during that time, right? Um, that was always more fun to me, development. 
than actual wrestling, right? I love wrestling, don't get me wrong, but the, the coaching aspect, right, the helping kids, that's something that's very important to me and, and my family. If you look at my father's background, for example, he's been in child care, he owned a child care when I was growing up, we were in foster care, involved with foster care children, you know, um, way back when my grandpa would take care of the neighborhood kids. You know what I mean? That's what we do. We're in the business of taking care of our community and taking care of our kids. Right? That's awesome, man. Me and Justin got here uh, earlier and, and you still had a class going on. And when the kids were walking out, it was like, hey coach, you know, thank you for everything. And it wasn't just like, see you tomorrow. It was, they were looking at you, man. And they were, you know, you could generally see the trust and, and, and the love that they, you know, had, had for you. So it's not like you're, you know, people are coming in here and you're just like, hey, we're going to, you know, wrestle real quick and exactly, then bye. Yeah. You know, I'll see you later. You, you, you generally have a relationship with these kids and you care about them. Yeah, I mean, it seems like. Yeah, and that's what we try to cultivate, right? We feel in order to get a good growth environment, you need a good growing environment. So you need to have comfort. You need to be comfortable where you're at. You need to have, you know what I mean? Be friends with the people that are around you because in order to learn anything, it's very important, right, to, to yes. be in a comfortable environment. Yeah, and, and now you don't have to show me, right? I don't want you to slam me on the okay, mat right okay. now or anything, but... This is your chance to brag about yourself a little bit, man. Any you know accolades while you were in high school, anything growing up, anything that you've you know achieved, you know that you want to let people know that you know you do know what you're talking well, about, I, man. You got to, you got yeah, some experience I mean, on the mat yourself. Yeah, I will say this. Look, one of one of the accolades I will say is that I have wrestled. You know, I was a state level wrestler. There you uh, go. I was a, I, I won first in Greco in state in 2002. Um, you know, just a few of the things that I've done. But more than anything, what I'm most proud of, Ron, is the development of the kids that we got. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, and that means from anyone. We have kids that are involved right now, for example, that I helped develop, that are involved in Edinburgh City Council, people that are police officers. Wow. We got uh, one of our students right now is, is, is a five-time assistant coach in Missouri for wrestling, right? Wow, uh, incredible, man. Exactly, and like you said, the kids come out and, and, and the credit is given to us. We don't believe that we can take credit, right? So we really don't like to, how can I say, like, like use those, those people's accolades to bring in new ones right because okay. everybody's development is on their own level fair enough so so i mean if you ask yeah i'll give you the list but, <laughs> but again uh, we find that an individual person's development is the most important right all right all right that's awesome i mean it it seems like you guys are the first to do this around here at least and, and the growth is going to be there I, I know a lot of people are talking about it and are excited about having wrestling here there was a lot I mean, you see boxing gyms, you see jujitsu gyms, uh, you know, even like those nine round places, but this is something totally and completely different that is just being introduced here. So as far as growth, right, you're just getting started. It's 2022, 2023, you're just getting started. Where do you see the future of Warrior Wrestling Academy? Uh, 10 years, Ron, I'll tell you, man. Uh, when we started, I started doing jujitsu back in 2002. So I've, okay. see, I've seen uh, jujitsu, how it's grown. I, I never stuck with jujitsu because my heart wasn't in it, my passion's for wrestling. But in, in the past few, in, in 10 years, what jiu-jitsu was to what it is now, oh man, it's such a big boom, right? That's what we want for, for wrestling. I know now, right now, as of, as of that I know, there's two other teams about to start in the summer and one starts next month. And we like to feel that we're personally responsible for that, for the movement, right, in, uh -huh. in that direction, because that's what we want. We want more wrestling, we want more tournaments, we want, we want the Valley itself to become a powerhouse in wrestling. And there's nothing wrong with being that way. Somebody had to be first or one of the first ones and to think of yourselves as a pioneer, especially here in the lower you know, Valley, you know, not Corpus, not San Antonio, but the lower Rio Grande Valley, the you know, lower part of Texas, that's you know, extremely awesome. And uh, I did notice, man, you were talking about the tournaments and clinics and stuff. Uh, do you have a travel team where you know, people can come in, they can join the team and if they wanna go travel you know, with you guys, can they do that as well or is it strictly here definitely, in, in the missionary? Definitely, that, that's something that, that we're starting here in March or club wrestling, right? Because again, club wrestling does exist, it's been around, but again, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a club, right? So you have to join it and it's only open during club seasons. For the most part, that's how clubs work. Okay. Um, us as an academy, we're an academy, right? So we're open you know, all year. Wow. Our club season, our, our club begins during club season, which will be in March, right? That's when we are, our travel team starts. Mm -hmm. We do give clinics. We'll, we'll, we go to different gyms to give clinics. I, I've personally been to a few jiu-jitsu gyms to give clinics. Um, we'll travel to you. Um, you can come in for an in-house clinic, right? And you can reserve a spot here. Or if you don't even have mats, we have travel mats. We can meet you up in, in the backyard. You know I, I mean? think you mentioned that um, you had an open session where anybody and everybody could came. You said you put mats outside and that was completely free for everybody to come yes, try yeah, out. Yes, yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's awesome that's, that you guys do stuff Yeah, like that's that. something that we had, man, because again, I, it, and we did it during the Christmas season, the spirit of Christmas, right? Okay. What we wanted was people just to come in, roll around, and we did two weeks of open mat session, two sessions a day. And to be honest, it's pretty unheard of, right? Uh, people do one, one day a week, um, 
may, maybe an open mat, right? Nobody's open during the holidays. So, so we did that, and, and in the same spirit, as corny as it may sound, Ron, <laughs> uh, we had people come in. We had people come in from Missouri, from Iowa, wow. from, from Chicago, and, and they brought in knowledge, right? And right. they gave us a little bit, we gave them a little bit, and I mean, that's what we're about, right? You're, you're putting warrior wrestling on the map, man, and that's awesome. And I know we keep going back to it, but it really is about the kids. And right now we're at a phase where, you know, there's scholarships out there for baseball, for football, for, you know, even swimming. Nobody really talks about the potential that wrestling has for kids, especially coming out of high school, to get scholarships and to get, if not a full ride, you know, maybe some college paid for just for being a wrestler. So that, does that come to your attention now? Does that, you know, may, make you put more of a focus on, you know, the kids than you Definitely. already do? Yeah, of course, man. I mean, that's why we do what we do, because, I mean, we're concerned about the kids and we care about their growth. Collegiate money, for, for, for wrestling, there's a lot of it, right? Okay. Uh, you have good grades and you're a decent wrestler and you're willing to work hard, you can find someone that'll pick you up. Um, education is very important. I mean, as we know, right, uh, just to get a foot up, you, you need some type of degree. Uh, wrestling could be the key to get you there. Wrestling is a hard sport to train. If you're a good wrestler, it means you're a good student, right? So, mm -hmm. so yeah, definitely there's a lot of help out there and that's something that, that we want to promote more. We want more of our kids to, to be leaving the Valley with these scholarship, athletic scholarships, be it any sport, but we, we do, we're in the world of wrestling. So, so we want wrestlers out there. You know, yeah. Competing. And then you wanted to say, you know, Ramon from Mission, Texas, graduate of the University of something from Warrior Wrestling Academy, man. That would sound, yeah, that yeah, would sound awesome. great. And, and, and we love it. We, we love see, seeing our wrestlers grow and achieve their own stuff. And then coming back and telling us um, exactly yeah, what they've done with the wrestling. Because um, this is, a, this is our, our new take on it. Right now, it, this philosophy though, it's old. You know, it belongs to my father. My father always said, become a student of the sport. So it means you never master it. You always keep learning. And, but we've been coaching. I've, been, I've personally been coaching since 2007. So we have our experience behind us, right? And we believe in our program, you know? Very good. Um, as far as us, you know, we talking about sports here. We really appreciate the opportunity of you letting us in here, you know, opening your doors to us, to me, to Justin. Uh, and we have a little something for you, if you don't mind. Yeah, I caught it. I don't want to drop it. <laughs> this is from us, man. This is your own. We talking about you can open it up. Right, you know, let me see check this it out right here. Because you definitely are an original, man. You oh, definitely are. You, it's all right. You. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Thank you so much. Look yeah. at that. All right. So you definitely are an original. And thank you for bringing this to the mission area. You know, we live here. Warrior Wrestling Academy is in We Talking About Sports' own backyard. So we wish you the best. We honestly do. Thank you, Ron. You, the kids, the parents, everybody that's involved with Water Wrestling Academy, if you know where it is or you've heard about it, share the word, spread the message, and this guy's a good guy. And we appreciate him letting us in here. Thank you very much, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. What are we even talking about, man? We're talking about sports here.